everyone and welcome to another video. In this video, we're going to be talking about mixtures and solutions. And before we talk about what mixtures and solutions are, we first have to talk about what it means to mix something. To mix something means to combine two or more things. So, I have these two bins. In one bin is some cubes, and the other bin is highlighters. Now, if I dump the bin of cubes into the bin of highlighters, I have just mixed these two things. I now have a bin with highlighters and cubes. Now, these two things, I can easily separate and put back the cubes into the old bucket. And it's easy because the cubes are still cubes and the highlighters are still highlighters. When I can easily separate the things I mix together and they retain their own properties, which means that the cube is still a cube and the highlighter is still a highlighter, they haven't changed, it's called a mixture. Now, one thing I said is that easily be separated. Now, one of the cool, awesome mixtures is seawater. Now, unfortunately, I'm not next to the sea, I'm not next to the ocean, but I can kind of do a cool little experiment to model that, and that's with salt. If I dump salt in water, it will slowly begin to dissolve. Now, you might think just because I, it begins to dissolve that it's no longer a mixture. I can't easily separate the two things. Now, if I began to try and put my hand in there, it's going to be pretty hard, almost or impossible, to get the salt back because it began to dissolve. However, a really cool thing, it's called a homogeneous mixture because it begins to dissolve, but we can still get the salt back easily enough. And we do that by evaporating the water. So if we begin to heat up the salt water, we can get back the salt. And then I can use it for cooking or anything I would like to do. Now, what happens if I can't easily separate it? What happens if I would dump something in the water and, or any other liquid and not be able to get that thing that I dumped in back out? That's when we have a mixture or sorry, we have a solution. A solution is when two or more things are combined, or when something is combined in a liquid, and we can't get that substance back. And I'm gonna model this by looking at my coffee creamer. Now, we all know coffee is a teacher's favorite drink, and sometimes teachers use creamer to have their coffee taste a little bit differently. And this creamer is a powder, and while you may not have a creamer at home that's a powder, one thing that you can do is you can do the same kind of experiment with either powdered Gatorade or powder Kool-Aid. If I get a spoonful of this uh, creamer and I put it in the coffee, it will slowly begin to dissolve just like the salt water did. And if I continue to mix it up a little bit, because I put a lot of creamer in for uh, the amount of coffee I had, eventually I won't be able to get that creamer back. The creamer has evenly distributed its, uh, itself within the coffee. And now they're kind of one thing. Their coffee and the creamer, they're one solution. So in summary, we mix things together when we combine two or more things. When those two things can be easily separated and maintain their own properties, it's called a mixture. And examples of mixtures can be things like Chex Mix uh, or Trail Mix. It can be things like a bit of blocks and highlighters or even seawater, which we kind of represented with our salt water. When that thing, when something is evenly distributed and kind of dissolves into a liquid like we had with our uh, creamer and our coffee, 
and I can't really get back that creamer because it begins to be evenly distributed, that's called a solution. So I hope this helps, and I can't wait to see y'all in the next video. Bye, everyone.